What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Coach John. Um, so this is a little bit earlier than usual. Um, I'm actually recording this, it's like 9, 10, but I have a lot to do today and at 11 I'll be recording a podcast so I can't eat then. And la yesterday I ate a little late and it made me a little ravenous. Um, so this meal obviously doesn't look that big and it's because it's not. I... Um, Decided to eat my quarter of a keto brick a little early. So this meal was supposed to be a quarter of a keto brick, eight ounces of organ blend, which is like basically it is the same macros as like an 85-15 ground beef. Um, three tablespoons of egg whites, one scoop of iso pure, and then one tablespoon of Kerrygold. Um, I had people reach out; they want to know the macros of this meal. I told them that there's going to be days I don't know the macros because I'll be intuitively eating, especially as this progresses out into my maintenance and just you know marathon training. But um, I will give the macros per serving if I don't have the full macros, but for this meal, it is at 883 calories, 62 grams of fat, four total carbs, and 76 grams of protein, um, and that's including the quarter of the keto brick I already ate. So I got protein ice cream here. I used the pure and the egg whites to make that, and then I got this. So we're gonna dive into this first so it doesn't melt, and I'm gonna let her outside. Out. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, I haven't used egg whites yet. This is new. Look at the texture. You gotta love protein ice cream. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. So the topic of discussion today is going to be carnivore or keto if you have no gallbladder. Ow! Brain freeze! Uh, all right, so what does it mean to not have a gallbladder? So basically what a gallbladder does is it stores up bile. Now it does not produce bile. Bile is produced in your liver. In fact, studies have shown, autopsies have shown that people with their gallbladders removed will actually store up bile in their liver. Like their, their, their liver, they, they have bile ducts in their liver as well. So over time your body gets acclimated. So really, my, my advice to someone that doesn't have a gallbladder is to do the diet that's going to be easiest on your liver, right? So if you're doing like a high protein carnivore, that might be easier on you than a high fat carnivore, right? Kind of play with those numbers. Like there is no right or wrong. Um, I would say, let's go, let's go through a list of pros and cons, pros and cons. So pros of carnivore with no gallbladder. It's really easy to manipulate higher protein. You just eat leaner meats. Super simple. You can kind of um, not make the, the liver feel so overbared with fatty um, acids. Um, but at the same time, if you do eat too much protein and you're not digesting properly, then you can build up your acid and you can technically develop gout over time. So that's a con, right? So the, 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 that would be the, and then one of the other cons is that you're kind of isolated to just meat, which for some people that works great and that's great. But for other people, they just need more variety than that. Um, especially like in a diet that um, you need to be really careful with how many fatty acids you intake at one time. Okay, pros and cons of a keto diet with no gallbladder. You have vegetables, right? Vegetables and fiber do slow down digestion. You can also have a little bit, you can also still have a little bit of higher protein. I'm doing a higher protein keto diet um, and that's gonna slow down digestion of fats. It's gonna help your body release more. I think honestly, cause I've had clients that have had their gallbladders removed. I think honestly it comes down to meal timing and amount of fat per meal. So I have one client, we lowered, their, we lowered his fat and then we slowly started increasing. He's back up to almost where he was at but the different, and I think he's even back up to his meal frequency, but to help when his gallbladder initially got removed, instead of doing the whole four hour eating window, five hour eating window, we went to four meals a day, which isn't the standard for keto. I definitely don't think you should do six or seven meals a day, but you know, like I do, I do three meals a day right now. And so maybe you need to split up the amount of fat you're eating throughout the day better. Also, ingesting like uh, apple cider vinegar once or twice a day can be good. Um, little tips and tricks like that can help your body digest the fat because it's not that your body can't produce bile. 
It's that it can't concentrate it in high dosages to release a lot if you eat a bullish amount of fat. So, giving your body time with small amounts of fat added to your day throughout the day or to your body throughout the day can help give your liver time to produce enough bile and store enough bile to handle the fat that's coming in. Because what people will do, what people will do that um, don't like, uh, my face recognition is off. Okay, we're back. So what people will do is they'll get on keto and they'll do like a 16-8 and like they'll have two big meals and both have like 70 grams of fat. And dude, if you don't have a gallbladder, your liver's not used to that and it can really cause some digestive issues, right? So maybe have three or four meals and instead of having 70 grams of fat at each meal, have like 30, right? Give your body the time to produce what it needs to produce to um, function properly. I think also it comes out of digestion. like. We talked about this in the first video, right? Like not looking at your phone, not watching TV while you eat, really like being in the moment with your food can help your body prime digestive enzymes and your body to get ready for the incoming food. I think that's huge. My wife just got home. Hey babe. She had a long night. I wanna get into this no guy. Check that out. No guy is this antelope I shot. Your description device, real quick. Big monster. I love this blend of meat. It's got no guy muscle meat. It's got wagyu beef fat. It's got no guy heart and liver, and then sugar-free Peterson's Farm bacon. It's amazing. I'm almost out of it. I'm really sad. I actually think I might be eating the last bag today. You know. Protein ice cream is delicious, and it's not hard to make keto. You just add like avocado oil or like heavy cream to the protein powder and make, in fact, that would be better because you're gonna get a creamier consistency. It's so full of volume, like once, so imagine one scoop of this and then two tablespoons of heavy cream, water, and ice. Maybe a little xanthan gum. Blend this, it'll turn into this gigantic cup. And you're looking at 200 calories, 200 calories. Granted, this isn't something you should probably eat every day. I started eating it every day at the end of my prep, and it really started to get to my digestive system. But every now and then, it ain't bad. And to clarify, the protein powder that I have is actually really clean. It's lactate-free and all that. This is anthem gum that started to mess with me. Mm. Today at the gym, you've got bench press and shoulder press. I'm excited about that. Those are my two favorite workouts, by far. Mostly because I'm good at them. I slept in the new bed last night. Fan freaking fantastic. Fan freaking fantastic. It was amazing. No, I, I woke up with almost no pain in my back. I woke up throughout the night because I had to go to the bathroom. Like, I woke up once or twice. But, like, yeah, like, I don't, I, after I started moving around the house, my back started to tighten up. But my run was, my run went really well. But yeah, like, when I initially woke up, I had, like, no back pain. It was awesome. All right, guys. That's it for this lunch. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up. Y'all know how it goes. Which we want to hear about, talk about, comment section below. Till next time.